sign of a temperature. And you're not feeling any pain, Pom? No, I'm just feeling sort of sick. I'm sure I'll feel better in a few days. It's a shame you're going to miss the science competition. Your working model of an airship sounded like a surefire winner. And so ambitious. I'd love to see it. It's too bad I can't finish it now. Being sick and all. That is a shame, son. Well, let's see how you're feeling in the morning. Good night, dear. If you need anything, just call. I think I'll stay with Palm a while. You know, when I was a boy, just about your age, I wanted to be a concert pianist. You did? Mm-hmm. I decided on this musical career the day Cornelius brought the news that the great Leopold was coming to perform in Celesteville. I wish I could play the piano. But your majesty, whenever you want music, we will hire someone to play it for you. Truly accomplished performance, madam, comparable to one by the great Leopold himself. You flatter me, Pompadour. Accomplished, yes, but hardly comparable to a performance by the greatest piano virtuoso of our time. Perhaps you would like to discuss that with Mr. Leopold himself, madam. I have just received news that he is coming to Celesteville. The great Leopold? Coming here? My, that certainly is wonderful news, Cornelius. Well then, I suggest we get busy at once preparing a welcoming speech. I've got a better idea. I'll give him a musical welcome instead. See? It's wonderful that your majesty possesses an elementary knowledge of music, but to welcome a piano virtuoso such as the great Leopold. Baba Black Sheep may be a trifle unsophisticated. You're right, Pompadour. Can you teach me to play what you were playing? Well, I could, but don't you think I can do it? Oh, I'm sure you can, dear. It's just that learning to play piano is not something you can do overnight. How long before the concert, Cornelius? Only four weeks, I'm afraid. That's loads of time. But there's the Celesteville Senior Citizen Social to supervise. I'll give up tennis. And the Five Mile Mammoth Marathon to mediate. I'll give up listening to the radio. And the new palace protocol proposal to peruse. I'll give up all my spare time. Please, just teach me that song. Well... If you're that determined, Babar, I will. But only if you promise me you'll do three things. I'll do four things. Practice, 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 and practice. There you have it. I've modified the arrangement slightly so you can manage it with your trunk. The rest is up to you. Practice, practice, practice. And practice. If you need any help... I'll be fine. Thanks. Just listen to him, and after only one week of practicing... Oh, Pompadour! Just uh, 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 making sure that the door was locked. for some real practice.
Celeste, I'll play Zephyr and then you can play the winner. Hey, Babar, how's your practicing going? Oh, it's coming along. As a matter of fact, I was thinking of taking a little break. Me and Babar are against you two. Are you sure you can spare the time? Sure, I'll just practice twice as hard tomorrow. Warm up a racket, I'll be right there. Maybe I'll give up everything except tennis. His private eye sense told him they were lying in wait inside the wharfside warehouse. But even so, Lance's truncate was too close to let the criminal slip through his trunk. But as Lance slipped into the room, the light suddenly went out. Join out the light. There was a scream. Baba. <laughs> Sorry if I startled you. I thought you were practicing. Uh. Uh, I am. Lance was surrounded. Come out with your hands up. <laughs> Just taking a little break. Well, you certainly deserve one. You've been practicing hard the last two weeks. How is it coming? To be honest, it's a lot harder than I thought. Well, is there any particular part you're having trouble with? Yeah, the introduction. Oh, is that all? Here, it's really very easy. There. I'll leave you to it. But it's the only part. I'm pleased it's going so well. The only part I sort of know. Okay. I'll lick this thing yet. Lick this thing right after. And so, Cornelius, I have a confession to make. You know that piano piece I was learning for the great Leopold? I can't play it. <sighs> no, that's not right. My tusks! Out with it, Babar! <sighs> well, the good news is, the first three or four notes sound great. I practice them a lot. Maybe too much. Because the bad news is, I really haven't gotten around to the others. Brother, what am I gonna do? It's been three weeks, and I'm still no further ahead. I'll never learn this piece. I'm just gonna have to tell him straight. You see, the piece is really hard. And I know I wanted to play something hard. But what's even harder is giving up some of the things I said I'd give up. And the hardest thing of all is telling you. What I'm trying to say is... Cornelius, I have a confession to make. And so do I. Cornelius! Cornelius? Yes. Well, we just wanted to tell you how pleased we are. We all are with what you have accomplished. But I really haven't done anything. Mastered a complex piece of music like that in three short weeks? <laughs> oh, come, my boy. Such modesty. We're very proud of you, Babar. But... But... Yes, indeed. Top honors. Top honors, indeed. Now, uh, what was it you wanted to tell us? I... I... Thanks. It's too late. I let it go too far. I can't tell them now. I should have told them before. Oh, dumb move, Babar. Maybe it's not too late. I decided I would tell Pompadour to cancel the whole thing because it was interfering with my duties as king. I'm finished practicing. Congratulations, sire, on achieving a monumental undertaking. No, Pompadour, it's not like that. 
I've decided to welcome the great Leopold with a speech instead. But what about your piano? Then I could devote my spare time to catching up on my kingly duties. There's the Celestville Senior Citizen Social to supervise. Surely of secondary significance. And the Five Mile Mammoth Marathon to mediate. A marginally minuscule matter. And your new palace protocol to peruse. Preferably post-piano performance. But... As a matter of fact, in view of your amazing progress, I've taken it upon myself to reschedule all your duties until after your duet. Duet? Did you say duet? Yes. When Mr. Leopold called to confirm, I mentioned your piano was going extremely well, and he suggested a duet, saying he'd be honored to play with the King of Pompadour, Celestial... Pompadour, you have to call him back and cancel! Now, sire, if I may be so... candid, a little stage fright is nothing to be afraid of. Besides, what would we tell the citizens of Celestville? A duet. Now there was no way out. I was really in over my head this time. trouble sleeping, I find warm milk helps. I couldn't tell Cornelius, but that nightmare frightened me so much that I dreaded the thought of going back to sleep. My tusks! With this much warm milk, we'll be lucky if we're up in time for the next ice age. <laughs> Excuse me. I still don't feel sleepy. Thank goodness. I promise you, my boy, you'll drop off as soon as your head hits the pillow. Maybe I will. If you tell me a story, how about the time you and the old king fended off that gang of gators single-handed? <laughs> that is a good story. It improves with the telling, I say. Ah, uh, let's see now. It was the old king's grand... Uh, so... Oh, that, that was the last that anyone uh. saw of that kangaroo. Babar, <gasps> have you two been up all night? I'm having problems sleeping. <laughs> Not so for Cornelius. I'm fine, though. Really. But I wasn't fine. I was still very much afraid to go to sleep at night. Say, this sounds like some kind of pajama party you're planning, Babar. Yeah, sounds like an all-night affair. That's the idea, Zafir. Well, count me in. Me too. First one to fall asleep tonight is a rotten rhino. Deal? Deal. Rotten rhino. That's the trouble with the youth of today. No staying power. <gasps> gotcha. You yawned. Did not. Did so. Did not. <laughs> If I fall asleep, the nightmare will come back. I know. Lance truncate. Nothing. Even Lance truncate and the evil mastermind have gone to bed. Goodness! What is going on? Pompadour, am I glad to see you. As I am to see you. I almost mistook your majesty for a burglar. Well then, good night, sire. Do you have to go? How about a game of chess? Perhaps some other time. It is quite late. Uh, uh, what 
document is that, Pompadour? Why, my new palace protocol proposal. I'd love to hear about it. Now? Why not? So you see, sire. The subcommittee reports directly to... to the inner office. The inner to the outer and so on. So on. So! Ah. What? Do you think? Is it morning yet? Not quite, sire. Then perhaps you could go over it once again? Pompadour? was that bad. Please open up. Please. Baba, what is it? It was horrible. Everyone was laughing, laughing, and I couldn't do it. What couldn't you do? I can't play it. I don't know any of it except for maybe three or four notes, but the last one's always wrong, and maybe I could have learned it, but I didn't practice, practice, practice. Baba, please slow down. And then it was too late, and I got scared, and then I got nightmares. Nightmares? Oh, dear. And then I was too afraid to sleep, and then I was too tired to practice, and it's all because, all because... I made everyone believe I could do something I really knew I couldn't. It's your piano piece, isn't it? You know, you could have told me about this sooner, Baba. I tried to tell you and Cornelius, but... I didn't do a very good job of that either. Besides, I thought you'd be disappointed. Perhaps, but we still would have tried to help. I know. Thanks. I don't think I'll have any more nightmares. Well, maybe just one. The concert tomorrow. Ah, yes, the concert. Hmm. <sighs> I guess I'll just have to tell everyone that I tried to do too much. Well, that depends on how much you try to do. You can still play. No, I can't. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Stay here tonight, and we'll go to the concert hall first thing in the morning. But, but, but... Trust me, Babar. Everything will work out just fine. I did just as Madame asked, and following a rigorous morning of practicing, my piano duet with the great Leopold was at hand. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased as Punch to welcome to Celesteville the world's greatest living pianist, the great Leopold. I don't know if I can do this. We've had an extremely productive morning, Baba. You're ready. Good luck. And to accompany Mr. Leopold in a duet, our very own King Baba. Ha ha, that's my boy! <laughs> <laughs> 
although I had gotten in over my head, I finally succeeded at what I set out to do by choosing a goal that was within my grasp. Luckily for me, Ba Ba Black Sheep was similar to the opening of Haydn's Surprise Symphony, not only a well-respected piece of music, but one of the great Leopold's favorites. <sighs> well, time for bed. Dad, I have to tell you something. I only just started on my model airship. I tried, but... In over your head, perhaps? Yeah. I should have just stuck to my rock collection. Did you collect any rocks? Yes. Well, then, let's see what we can put together. If you feel up to it. You bet.